Hello dear students, welcome to the class on corticosteroids part 6 that is mechanism of action at cellular level. In this session, we will be learning about the mechanism of action of corticosteroids at cellular level. So this corticosteroids penetrates the cell and it binds to cytoplasmic receptor protein with high affinity and this brings about some structural changes in the steroid receptor complex and then the steroid receptor complex migrates into the nucleus in the nucleus it binds to the glucocorticoid response elements which is present on the chromatin and it promotes the transcription of specific mrna and mrna directs the ribosomes to regulate the protein synthesis so coming to the image here there is a glucocorticoid which enters into the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm the glucocorticoid will bind to the carboxy terminal of the steroid binding domain so once it binds to the steroid binding domain the heat shock protein 90 which is attached to the steroid binding protein gets detached and it removes the inhibitory influence on the steroid binding domain and in the middle there is a dna binding domain which has got two zinc fingers so once the glucocorticoid bind to the steroid binding domain there will be dimerization of the two steroid binding domains and they get dimerized and the dimerized uh, domains will be penetrating into the nucleus in the nucleus the dimerized steroid binding domains will be attaching to either coactivator or corepressors which will help in binding to the specific uh, glucocorticoid responsive element which is responsible for regulating the specific genes so with the help of gre there is a specific transcription which will be made on to the mrna once the specific mrna is synthesized this mrna is directed to the ribosome which helps in the specific protein synthesis that again in turn helps in the modification of cellular functions so this is about the molecular mechanism of corticosteroids so all this process the specific protein synthesis takes place at least 30 to 60 minutes and you should remember that the effects of corticosteroids are not produced immediately and once the specific protein is synthesized the corticosteroid effects will persist much longer than the steroid itself and overall in majority of the tissues it shows catabolic effect that is inhibition of protein synthesis and inhibition of protein synthesis is mainly because of the consequence of steroid directed synthesis of inhibitory proteins so when we talk about glucocorticoid receptor it is widely distributed it is present uh, practically in all the cell and it is made up of 800 amino acids the intensity of the response or the action depends on the coactivators as well as the corepressor and it also depends on how this coactivator and corepressor modulate uh, the integration of ligand gated glucocorticoid receptor with the glucocorticoid responsive elements so you should know that glucocorticoids largely maintains uniformity throughout the body because there is no tissue specificity for the glucocorticoids and all the members produce same constellation of effects and there can be some corticosteroid that exits rapid action like inhibition of the ACTH release from pituitary which can be mediated by cell membrane receptors so this is the reference so in the next video let's learn about corticosteroids part 7 
about corticosteroid classification and steroid preparation. Thank you. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel I Love Pharmacology for more updates on pharmacology. Thank you.